Hey everybody, welcome back and thanks for joining me. Uh, this will be part two, super exciting. Um, I know I left you guys on a little bit of a cliffhanger just showing you the white shell, but figured I'd start off part two with a little teaser. Hopefully the camera is picking it up. It should, but I end up doing camel yellow and then you know, to kind of go with that 70s or 80s uh, van vibe. All right, I did my favorite kind of, you know, that, that jet boat look. So I did um, the camel yellow, and then I went over it with a couple light coats of flake. And then I went over that with some clear pearl. So really, really excited. Turned out fantastic. So hopefully we'll get her done here pretty quick. Um, still a lot to do. Have the windows, grill, all the cool chrome pieces. Really excited for those. Always wanted those side pipes, so we're gonna get those bad boys on. And then off to the decals, and she'll finally be done. So I'm gonna get that knocked out. Uh, still got the wheels to put on, uh, the rear hub adapters, and uh, she'll be a rolling chassis. So I'm gonna get that knocked out, I'll show you that. And then we're gonna start on this body right here. So thanks for joining and buckle up and we're gonna get this one done. And just like that, finally she's a rolling chassis. Fantastic, those tires are just awesome. But yeah, everything went on super good. Got the antenna on. Really, really glad it's finally almost done. It's funny, the tires are so soft that it barely allows the rear suspension to work. It just kind of bounces, but those are the things that make the lunchbox amazing. So we're gonna move on to the body. Got the glass and some of the chrome pieces. And yeah, we're gonna keep on trucking on, or should I say vanning on, but yeah, really excited to get this one done and I just wanna play with it. So we're gonna move on to that stuff and then I'll update you guys when everything's done. All right, quick little update. Got the little A pillars there painted both sides. And got the front windshield on, side uh, windows and the top. I love how it's, you can kind of see it there. It's almost like a smoked, but it's like a, a brown kind of tinted smoked um, to the glass. And I really like it kind of adds kind of some of that vintage. Um, look, but had to get the rear decals on, um, so that way I can get the bumper on, because I think the bumper slightly overlaps. I didn't know if it was going to create any issue, so 
Fairy dust, get those uh, tail lights. That's a two piece uh, little decal. It's got a little red uh, decal that goes, and then the one in the center. And of course, California Vanessa license plate. So, got those on. And I'm gonna get some of the chrome pieces on. I think that's what's really gonna make uh, make this thing pop and come alive. But man, I love that uh, love that flake in the paint. Looks super super cool. So yeah, uh, super excited to get those side pops uh, side pipes on. Like I said, I've always wanted side pipes, and this one definitely fits the bill. So I'm gonna get the chrome pieces on. We got the front bumper, rear bumper, and the side pipe exhaust. All right, went ahead and already painted the turn signals on the front bumper. So that way that's ready to go. And then also that kind of smoked or amber glass, uh, the lenses I got those in. So I'm gonna get those knocked out and then we're gonna be on to the decals and she will be done. So super excited, stay tuned and I'll be right back. Hey everybody, welcome back. We're here, she's done. Uh, it's been a minute, uh, you know how it is. Crazy with work, super crazy with work, life, family, all that good jazz. I wanted to get this done, but like I said in the last video, I also wanted to really savor it, take my time. This was always a childhood dream of mine uh, to own, build, play with, uh, even as I got older. There's, it was always in the back of my mind. This is always a kit that I wanted and uh, obviously that day is finally here, so I am definitely over the moon and it turned out uh, way better than I anticipated. Really glad I went with 95-98% uh, box art. I think this van, no matter what you do, it looks amazing, but there's just something, you know, iconic about just kind of that yellow box art look. It really makes it pop and stand out. and. I mean, nobody can mistake it from a million miles away. It, it's a lunchbox coming, bouncing on down. So yeah, here she is. And like I said, I, I think it turned out really, really good. So as far as color, I did a uh, Kemmel yellow. I think it asked for like a little bit different of a yellow. Uh, I think just the standard to me a yellow, but um, I kind of like the contrast between kind of the bright, like neon yellow rims and then Having this like a shade darker, I, I kind of think makes it look a little bit better. So I ended up doing camel yellow, quite a few coats of that. This was a big body. So I think I almost used like two full cans. I did underneath uh, as well. Then I went over with a couple coats of uh, clear pearl. And then I did a couple coats of that metal flake. Uh, for those, you know, most of my buggies, I, I kind of like that old school you know, 80s, 90s, kind of jet boat metal metal flake in the paint. I really think it adds a lot to kind of the 80s nostalgia of, of these kits. Then after everything was dried and I applied the decals, I went over with a clear, uh, clear mat. I generally do that on the plastic bodies. Uh, I don't do that obviously on the Lexan bodies, but the plastic bodies I do kind of just to give it a little bit more protection. Um, especially with the lunchbox, for those who know, it's going to bounce, roll, crash. 
uh, it's part of owning a lunch box. A lunch box. So as much as I can protect that, um, I did. There were some tricky parts. Uh, they the kit kind of calls for you to do uh, like black around uh, the window trim. I didn't do it in the front just because I really didn't want to, and it's a weird kind of turn. Um, but I ended up doing it around the front window because I think it adds a nice little contrast. And then I ended up doing it on the top around the sunroof or, or moonroof, whatever you wanted to call it. So uh, really, really happy with that. And then, like I mentioned in my video, I ended up doing um, some slight deviations. I really just added to the decal. Uh, so no, no, that's one of my nicknames and no, no's RC, the, the channel. So I really wanted to kind of split it up because I didn't want to share it with Vanessa. It is Vanessa's van, but it's also mine. So I ended up uh, making on my Cricut uh, my nickname. So it says no, no, and Vanessa's lunchbox. And then I did super small ones on the front right here that goes on the hood. Um, and then I ended up doing it on the back as well. So I think it turned out really, really uh, cool. There's something about this decal. This is one of my favorite uh, decals that to me it has. That and like the, um, I think it's the Mud Blaster. That's another super, super rad one. But I think by far the Lunchbox Vanessa hanging out of her orange van, I think that is one of the coolest uh, decals that to me has ever made. So yeah, ended up super great. As you saw in the previous video, um, I didn't go crazy on the mods, but the mods that I ended up doing, I think really, really helped and are going to pay off. Uh, just like I said, extending the build and uh, enjoying the launch box as much as I can. I did, however, end up swapping the front springs and going with the stiff, the stiff springs. I still kept the soft ones in the rear just because it was funny. When you would brake, this thing would nosedive like no other. And then the tires would you know end up compressing and rubbing on the front right here um same thing with turning uh the springs were just too soft and it, and it caused the front end to kind of suck down so ended up swapping it out with the stiff springs that come with the uh, cbas and much much better um, so that turned out really really good uh, other than that i was kind of messing with the plug a little bit. I didn't want to have to take this body off every single time I wanted to run it. Um, I know some other people that kind of just leave it on and then, you know, when, when you plug the battery in, it, it's already on and going, but I didn't want to do that. So the cables ended up being just a hair too short and I actually have more Dean's batteries than I do uh, batteries with a Tamiya plug. So I ended up getting a slight little, um, adapter so it adapted it from a Tamiya plug to a Dean's plug and the the LiPo batteries that I have uh, they're a little bit smaller and they generally fit the um, the carriage down here in the lunchbox a lot better and then also the setup where you have like the, the um, hot shot how the battery is sideways so the bat the Dean's batteries that I LiPo batteries that I have they just they're a little bit smaller and they're uh, a lot closer to the stick pack batteries. Um, so it actually ended up really, really good. I had more of those batteries and it extended it enough where I kind of have it hanging out and I don't have to take the um, body off every time I want to run it. So the body can stay on. And then uh, for those who saw, I'll leave it down in the description. The first build video um, I ended up running the switch back here so I can just turn it on and off and don't really ever have to worry about taking the body off. So yeah, other than that, um, I'm super happy with it. I wish the build would have ended up longer, but you can always build another another lunch box. Um, funny, I mentioned that I did want to do another one. Um, a friend of mine on Instagram, he ended up making it into like a, we call it a truggy. I, I can't remember those old school Dodge vans. Um, so I'll, I'll, I'll throw up a picture here or here or somewhere. You'll see it, but he ended up modifying it, cutting it out, ended up making it into like a truck body. And I thought that was super rad and I would love to buy another one of these kits and do that. So if you think that's pretty cool, uh, let me know down in the comments. And uh, it's something that I definitely want to do. So if enough people have an interest in it, 
I'll make a video kind of step by step on you know how to cut the body and and turn it into a truck and all that good stuff but yeah other than that I, I am super happy with this one I've only run it inside like I do kind of all my kits first and that's how I found about the front end so I haven't uh, had a chance to run it outside yet but I am definitely excited ended up going with a sport two motor so I think that'll be perfect uh, for this particular kit and then yeah other than that um, that's about it I not a whole lot. The only other thing I think I want to do is swap this out and run a, uh, a dual wheel uh, and the on the wheelie bar, only because I noticed with that sport tune, this thing is now just super, super wheelie happy. And so what it ends up doing is just pivoting it on that small wheel, and then it kind of ends up doing this. Um, so I wanted to get a bit just a little bit more stability. There was a guy in line who kind of just, you can still use the, the factory wheelie bar, and then he just uh, 3D printed like two wheels and it came with the hardware. So you can run, you know, uh, dual wheels on the wheelie bar. I wanted to keep this because I, I, I like it a little bit smaller. A lot of the other kits on eBay, they kind of replace this and they're really big. They extend out even farther, have a really big wheel. And I just don't, it looks too modern for, this you know van so I wanted to keep keep it old school looking so hopefully he'll get those back in stock or if somebody else knows maybe somebody else who 3d prints like a dual wheel or I thought of worst to worst I can always go to a hard hardware store and and online and try to find some small little plastic wheels and retrofit it myself but yeah other than that that's really the only I think change or modification that uh, I would want to do in the future, but other than that, it's it's perfect, you know, the way it is. So, really, really happy with the paint. Really happy with the mods that I ended up doing on it, and uh, I really, really can't wait to uh, take this outside and finally play with it. So, yeah, let me know what you guys think. I right, hope you enjoy this uh, build video. Sorry, it took me so long to get the, you know, the the finale or the or the end of it done. But yeah, now that it's done. Um, you know, we'll move on to another kit. I'm thinking about a VQS. A lot of things I want to do to that. Some carbon fiber work and uh, some custom stuff. Um, also, you know, I always want to jump on my Kyosho kit. So I have a Tomahawk and, uh, you know, Turbo, uh, Turbo Scorpion. Oh, no, not Turbo Scorpion. She's over there. Uh, Turbo Optima chain drive. I'll be doing on that one. So. I think I know what I want to do, but we'll still think about it and I'll keep you guys updated on the next kit. But yeah, other than that, if you haven't checked out the other kind of intro or part one, I'll leave those down below. Um, also, if you guys are on Instagram, uh, I post kind of a lot of behind the scenes stuff and, and build photos and things like that. So um, same as my YouTube name. Uh, so I'll leave a link down, go ahead and check that out. Other than that, let me know what you guys think. and. Uh, Thank you guys so, so much for joining me, and I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this build. If you guys are uh, not playing out, you know, playing with your RC cars, get them off the shelf, dust them off, get them dirty, have fun, that's what they're made for, and we'll catch you guys on the next one.